right, go ahead. Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Lieberman, uh, professor of film at Cleveland State University and co-organizer of the uh, Picture Start, uh, the Picture Start uh, uh, interactive panel discussions with Dr. Kim Neuendorf. And um, these panels to me are, uh, when I've had film showing at festivals, these panels are to me one of the most fun events of the festival. It's a time when filmmakers get to talk to each other, when they get to talk to um, their audience, particularly when they get to interact with students. And in that way, it adds a kind of educational component to the festival. Not education in the dry classroom sense, but education in the truly interactive sense, where the students get to meet the filmmakers, hear about their struggles to make their films, hear about the different aspects of filmmaking from people who are really in the trenches. So to me, this uh, really enlivens the film festival and makes seeing the films even a, a, a more rich experience as people know uh, what's gone into their making. And have you been up to the Cleveland International Film Festival yet? Oh, of course. I, I would not miss the Cleveland International Film Festival, despite the fact that I have had one of the busier weeks of my life. At any free moment, I have run up to the festival, tried to catch some films. It's one of the most exciting cultural events in Cleveland, uh, you know, for the whole year. Everyone looks forward to the film festival, particularly those of us who are involved in film culture. For us, the film festival is kind of our Mardi Gras. You know, it's, a, it's our celebration, in a way. Of course, there's all these other people there. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, they're buying a lot of tickets, that's for sure. I must say something about the Cleveland Film Festival, which is really extraordinary, which is that at many of the film festivals that I've attended, that number's over 100, um, some screenings are crowded, and other screenings much less so, and some screenings are barely attended at all. I hate to say, a couple of those screenings have been of my films. Um, but at the Cleveland Film Festival, every film gets crowded. It's really amazing to see, nine o'clock in the morning, for a film about a social issue, there being a full house. And the Cleveland Film Festival is one of the only places I've ever seen that can guarantee a filmmaker an audience. It's unique in that regard. Great, and what's been your favorite film so far this year? I am embarrassed to tell you my favorite film this year because it's so mainstream, so commercial. It was Dunya and Desi, um, a film based on a, a television show from the Netherlands that was extremely straightforward, mainstream, but perfectly made in every way. A terrific script, very, very fine acting performances, beautiful cinematography that never became overly picturesque. Every part of the film was just right. And there's something so refreshing, something so energizing about seeing a film that works just from beginning to end in that way. And you know, I know that the festival brings in a lot of very challenging films, a lot of films that have greater social import. But sometimes a film that just leaves you feeling good and it's just well made and incredibly entertaining, that's what you really and what's your favorite thing about the Cleveland International Film Festival? Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about the yeah. Cleveland International Film Festival is the way it brings attention to film in Cleveland. Not only from outside of Cleveland, as we have visiting filmmakers who discover there is a film scene in Cleveland, and discover that there is filmmaking here at Cleveland State University, but also because it uh, uh, kind of awakens uh, an interest and an understanding of film in the general populace of Cleveland. All of a sudden, people who are not that interested necessarily in going to the Cedar Lee or the Cinematheque, which they all should go to the Cinematheque as often as possible. Um, even those people find an interest in independent, challenging films at least for 10 days out of the 